As systems scale, the probability of failure actually starts to go up. So imagine you have 10 servers, um, and let's say you have a, you know, a 1% chance that one of those servers will fail on a, a given day or a given month. As you have more and more servers, let's say now you have 100 servers, um, well, there's a much higher chance. Now, now in theory, you're at a 10% chance that there's going to be some server failure in that same window of time. So first off, you have more nodes, it means there's a higher chance there's gonna be a failure. When a shared nothing node goes offline, um, it's going to impact every user and every node in the cluster because every node needs to talk to each other in order to make sure the cluster is stable. And so if there's an issue with any of the nodes, it doesn't matter if it's the node that you're talking to or the node that some other user is talking to, you're all impacted. And that's just the fundamental design of shared nothing. Um, shared nothing, a node owns some amount of disk, but it can't own the entire transaction. A user talking to node one again, that node doesn't get to own everything. It has to go and ask node two for data, node three for data. And if one of those is slow to respond, or even worse, if one of those doesn't respond, then the user is directly impacted. 